Uh, where we are is a very, very uh, worrying moment because if Julian, obviously, if Julian gets sent to uh, to sent to the U.S., I mean, a he'll most probably die in a special uh, in a Sam's, you know, in a solitary confinement uh, prison somewhere in the U.S., which would be horrendous. Um, and there actually goes. Come, in, Hello. come and speak to come, Jamie. Come on. <laughs> come and chat to Jamie. There's a lot of love going on here. I've had a, it's been so hard recognizing. What are your hopes for tomorrow? Well, I think I think I think the sort of probable, the things that I consider as poss possible. My favourite, as a, as a sort of one of the possibilities, is that it, he gets his final appeal or application to appeal, chance to appeal rejected, but the European Court of Human Rights step in and take over the case. They issue the the, the Article 39 that, that preserves where he is. Possibly he'd be moved to Strasbourg or to France, hopefully to a better environment, perhaps even let out on, on, on bail to be tagged. But that, to me, of the possibilities, is my preferred possibility. Just kicking it down the road, you know, leaving Julian in Belmarsh Maximum Security Prison for another two or three years until his appeal is heard and it all gets sort of abused is you know something I'm not keen on obviously the extradition is totally out of the question if he goes he'll be dead it'll be the end of our rights to know I noticed it was interesting Victor that they made that reference to our rights to know that's what this is all about I need my speakers please people yeah. thanks mate <laughs> thanks, Bob Daniel